For today's tech tip, I'm going to show you how to enter profile lines in AgTech. You start by going into profile mode by clicking on the profile button here on the top of your screen. And then to enter a profile line, you hit this profile entry icon on your toolbar. It looks like a red triangle with a blue arc underneath. So I'm going to click on that and my crosshairs appear. Uh, so I'm ready to enter my profile line. So in this job, I know I have a trench running down through this road here. So to enter a profile through that road and to hopefully see that trench, I just left click my mouse once to start drawing. You can see the dot appear. And then as I pull my cursor down, you can see it's actually drawing that profile in with me as I go. So I could, you know, point any direction and get the profile anywhere, but I wanted to go through this road. So let's go straight down. When I'm happy with what I see, I left click my mouse once more. It sets that view. And then to tell it I'm all done, I just right click my mouse once. So then down here, we can look at all of our different surfaces that we've built into the job. We've got our design in light blue, the subgrade just beneath it. You can see where that road's cut in. Here's the existing surface in light green, that kind of lime green color, and then just beneath it is the strip surface. And then of course my sewer line, my sewer trench surface is built into this orange. If you ever need a little reminder on which surface is which color, you can also always hit this drop down list and look at your full list of surfaces and their colors. I can also drill into just two surfaces at a time. For example, here, if I wanted to look at just subgrade versus sewer, I can uncheck this all button and you can see AgTech turns off those additional surfaces for me so that I can just look at the two I want to compare. To turn it back on, I just hit all again. Now I can enter as many profile lines as I want. So to enter another one, I'm just going to hit profile entry again. And maybe I want to cut one through this entire top portion of the job because I noticed it was a big fill area. I just want to look at how those surfaces interact. So I'm doing the same thing. I just left click once, drag my cursor to where I want it to be, left click again, right click to tell it I'm done. And again, I get a nice picture here of exactly what my existing is doing compared with what my design and subgrade are doing. So you can look at these right within AgTech or you can also export them in Google Earth to share them with other people. So I won't walk you through the export, but I'm just going to pull open the Google Earth file here and show you what it looks like. Over here on the left, if you exported your profile lines, you get a profile line section and I can click on those same profiles I drew and see the same pictures. They're also interactable. So I can check and uncheck different surfaces here. If I wanted to just look at that subgrade versus sewer again, I can do that. I can click on them through this list or I can zoom in on the project, make sure I click on the right one and just click on the profile line right from my plan view as well. I hope that helped. Please let me know if you have any questions.